until one day I got out and decided to ride around Middlesboro, come over here and see where I lived. And when I started around the belt line here in Middlesboro, this guy got on my ass and would not get off of it. And so I actually said out loud, hey man, get off my ass. I'm driving slow on purpose. And then I said to myself, wait, this is a song. So if you ever take a drive up the belt line in Middlesboro, you literally can start with the house on the corner where the girl almost caused me to run out of the road. And you can go all the way up and see every story that I've told in that song unfold. See, her legs cause me to take out the ditch, but at least she noticed me. And so this is the graveyard where I lit my first sweet leaf. I did it sitting right in this particular spot. I don't know who he or she was, but whoever they were, they got good and high with three teenagers. And there's the creek where Luther drowned. I remember when we found his car. And over there's where I shot old Josh Reese. I wonder if it lived. Back when I first started playing guitar, it was Leonard Skinner and the Almond Brothers. That is who made me want to play guitar. And I sat with their albums, uh, just listening to them over and over. So it comes around time for my birthday. I was probably 16, 17 year old at the time. I will say it might have been 97, I'm not exactly sure. But um, I remember uh, my dad asking me what I wanted for my birthday. He picks out Freedom to Clearwater Revival, Chronicle. And I said, Dad, is this a gospel band you're giving me? He said, no. He said, trust me, you're in love. And then he uh, got me Rolling Stone Top Picks. I can tell you one thing, I am not a person that rebelled against my mom and dad's music. I love their music, I love my daddy's music, and uh, man, I fell head over heels in love with uh, CCR and the Stones and became instant fans the minute I got home and stuck those cassettes in my wallet. So I can't lie, you know, I always wanted to uh, rip off the Rolling Stones. And, uh, for anyone that says, well, that's kind of a stonesy sounding song. Yeah, it is. Because uh, for years, you know, I always wanted to channel that. I had so much fun, you know, playing their cover songs over the years and uh, doing things like that, that uh, it just felt natural that I would want to write something in that vein. I heard Carlos Santana one time say that if you only take from one man, it's called stealing. But if you take from many, it's called research. Now, I'm not one of these music snobs that, you know, loves the Beatles or hates the Stones or hates the Stones or love the Beatles. I love them both. Um, there are two bands that I drew a whole lot of influence from. But uh, I think uh, Keith Richards said it best. He said even John Lennon wanted to be a Rolling Stone. 